Jalen Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How big is it to see you guys on defense come up with a, another big stop that led to a win? Uh, it's huge. Um, very exciting. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a great feeling just to get off the field right there at the end and make that make that play. Um, a bunch of things we got to clean up um, leading to that play, though. Um, had a, a bunch of opportunities to get off the field uh, previous two third downs and um, just thankful that uh, we got the win and we got that stop. What do you think was the key to slowing down their running game in the second half? I'm um, just coming back out, making making some adjustments, um, being more physical, uh, and just playing our football, playing, doing the things that our defense does well. Um, Balin, this is uh, Chris Carlson from the Syracuse Post Standard. Uh, what adjustments did you make in the second half on Tucker? Uh, just some of the things that Coach B um, brought in there at the halftime and wanted to adjust and um, formationally wise things we did up front and just being more physical, being more sound and uh, um, working more cohesive as a group um, just to be really, really cohesive, fine and one and then found a way to get stops. Did you bring more guys? Did you bring them from different spots than you did in the first half? Or we didn't. We didn't change up the package or anything. We just made some adjustments up front, and some to formations, a thing of that nature, and just played our game. And, and you guys did the best job we've seen, I think, of anybody of containing Schrader, uh, the quarterback. What, what was kind of the key in, in limiting him? Uh, he's a great player, great talent. Um, kids, kid can run with his legs. Uh, super talented guy. Um, just being ready for uh, whenever – when he scrambles, he can make plays and trying to confine him and keep him inside so that he can't get out and make those plays, those extra long plays with his legs. Thank you. Does, does it feel just like second nature now that you guys are just going to, you know, go down the wire and, and have to get these stops? Is it, is it something like in that scenario? Like we've done this uh, so many times this year. <laughs> I mean, we play we play 60 minutes and we're going to give it everything we got as I'm um, – we're not taught anything less. Um, we're ready for anything that comes our way. Um, we're, we like to be out there. The game wants to stop. We want to be out there. It's our mentality. Um, we expect it. And when we get out there, we're going to find a way to win. Hey, Baylor, this is Nikki. Knowing, from Tiger Net, knowing that this is kind of your last season, are you taking extra time to enjoy these wins and these moments with Coach B and Ms. Kowalski? Uh Yeah, for sure. I would just say, especially this would be my last year, I've had a blast. Um, had a blast with the guys. Um, a bunch of the young guys make it fun. Older guys make it fun. Um, we really came together. Um, you got to celebrate every win. Um, I know it's tough, um, and it may not be flashy, or it may come down to the, like those last couple plays at the end. But we we always find a way. We'll find a way to keep winning, and uh, we look forward to it. And yeah, we celebrate every win. How impressed were you with some of those younger guys, like Nate Wiggins tonight, who came in in a game time decision and stepped up to the task? He was ready. Um, very exciting to see him come, come in and play well. Um, I know he had a, he had a couple tough last week, a uh, well, tough last week, um, just on the practice field, things of that nature. He came in this week, was ready and responded, and had a great game. Proud of him.